Hey everybody, Jeff Bates, Dole Whip Dad here. Another Disney video for you, but a little different one, I think. The Grammys are upon us. If you're watching this afterwards, well, that's okay. Hopefully I'm still not boring, a little entertaining. But the Grammys, I used to love the Grammys. I still like it for the live performances. It's a lot of fun. But I would say the genre of music that is popular now has left me. Not exactly my thing. So I'm going to do my Grammy predictions with some twists. I'm a Disney fan, and I like music that I like. It's an alternative twist. So I'm going to let you know, well, what it would be if it was up to me. So let's start right off the top. Album of the year. Real life in actuality, if I had to pick who's going to win, it would be Kendrick Lamar. Why? Because it's Kendrick Lamar, and people like to pretend like they like Kendrick Lamar. And actually, people probably actually do like him, but I don't get it. I don't get any of it. Whatever. Who cares? For me, the album of the year is easy. It's evolved by Imagine Dragons. That's the biggest album of the year, at least on the stations I listen to. A whole bunch of hits off of that album. If you don't listen to alternative, you know what I'm talking about. Fix yourself. Listen to a little alternative rock. But for me, Disney, Dole Whip Dad, the album of the year is Moana. The Moana soundtrack was awesome. Probably listen to it in my car. I've got daughters. Oh, man. 50 hours? I don't even know if that does it. A lot. Like, a couple years ago with Frozen, our family was on Moana this year. And it's a great album. So, Kendrick, somebody, evolve Imagine Dragons. But Moana, the Disney, the Disney album of the year, for sure. Moana. Moana. <laughs> now, song of the year, if it were me... Uh, the nominations would have been a little different. We would have had Hard Times, Paramore, Believer, Imagine Dragons, Feel It Still, Portugal the Man, Walk on Water, 30 Seconds to Mars, Dig Down, Muse, and one of the greatest bands ever, ever, Where's the Revolution, Depeche Mode. Those would have been my six songs of the year. And if I had to pick the winner, yeah, it's going to be Walk on Water. Jared, win another award. You know, I remember the first time I heard it, because I was pretty excited about the album coming out. The album's not even out yet. But by the time you watch this, maybe it is. But the album wasn't out yet. I uh, just had the second single come out the other day. But Walk on Water, the first time I heard it, didn't love it. Uh, but boy, it grew on me. I've heard it a lot this year. I love it. It's a great song. I pretty much love everything by 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, so that'd be the song of the year for me. Jay-Z is probably going to win because Jay-Z, you know, whatever. Um, hasn't had a good song since he got on stage with Linkin Park, if you ask me. But they didn't ask me. Um, but for Disney, it's pretty easy. How far I'll go. Moana soundtrack, Lin-Manuel Miranda. By far the song of the year. The Disney song of the year. Now, best new artist. SZA. Is gonna win. I, I admit, no idea. I don't know if that's how I pronounce it. Don't care. Never heard of her or it or whatever. I don't know what else to say about that. But for me, Dole Whip Dad, Disney guy is pretty easy. Auli E. Cravalho? I hope I'm saying her right name right. The Moana voice. By far the new artist of the year. She did a great job. I love her. I don't know anything about her other than I loved her voice. She's awesome. She's cute in the videos uh, that I saw her interviewing. Best new artist by far. The young lady who played Moana. <laughs> Pop solo. Ed Sheeran, JPU. Disney version. My version. The Rock. You're welcome. <laughs> Best rap song. In the real world? Who cares? That's it. Ugh. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with Dwayne Johnson. You're welcome. Because he raps, or maybe it's Lin-Manuel Miranda because he wrote it. Whatever. I'll let you decide. Dwayne or Lin, rap song. Might be the first rap song I've liked since Rapture by Blondie. Yeah. Best country song. I, I don't care. Country? Best? No. Best alternative album. Real World? Arcade Fire is going to win um, everything now. I like that band quite a bit. 
didn't love this album of the nominees. It's the only one I liked a little bit. So there you go. Best R&B. Uh, I don't care. I don't care even a little bit. Best music video. Do they make those still? I mean, I remember watching MTV. I watched it mostly for Singled Out and Jenny McCarthy. Um, video killed the radio, radio star uh, era <laughs> back when it started. Um, downtown Judy Brown and Martha Stewart. Or Martha Stewart. <laughs> Not Martha Stewart, but that's hilarious. Anyway, do they make videos anymore? I don't know why you would watch them if they do. I guess if you're watching them on YouTube, they're still videos. But So something by the Imagine Dragons. Oh, you know what? No. For me, 30 Seconds to Mars Walk on Water. That was fun when they did the, uh, I guess it was on 4th of July, they had everybody send in the videos. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So another award for Jared, if I am king of the world. Best compilation soundtrack for visual media. This is a real thing. Moana. Truly, they're nominated. They better win because then the real one and my favorite and the Disney one's all the same. So yeah, Moana. It's pretty sweet. And best song written for visual media. Truly nominated. I pick it. And it's my Disney pick, Lynn Manuel Miranda. How far I'll go. That's pretty sweet. So there you go. The likely winner is Common. I mean, I like Common in that, you know, the TV show, the Western, the Railroad. He's pretty cool. And everybody loves him, so he'll probably win. But Lynn Manuel Miranda, you got to give it to him. All right, last but not least, best spoken word. I must confess I did not know this was a thing when I was prepping for this silly video. I was looking at the nominations, and at the very end, I saw best spoken word. Yeah. The nominations to stick out to me, Bernie Sanders and Mark Ruffalo are nominated, so they're going to win because Grammys, politics, Bernie Sanders, Mark Ruffalo. So I'll leave my commentary there. I'm sure they'll win, but for me... Perfect for this video, Princess Leia. And she's passed, and she's nominated the Princess Diarist. I'm not gonna pretend like I've listened to it, but I mean, it's a cute name, and it's Princess Leia. So Carrie Fisher, give her the Grammy, because Bernie and Mark, no, I'll give it to Princess Leia. So anyway, hope that's not too political for you. Hope I didn't bore you to death. That's kind of what I say at this point in a lot of these videos. I had fun making it. I hope you did too. If you hated it, tell me. If you hated that I, Made a joke about Bernie Sanders, tell me. If you hated that I like Jared Leto on 36 of Mars, tell me. If you don't think Depeche Mode is one of the greatest bands ever, let me know. I don't care if you agree with me, but I would love the comments. Um, and I, I hope you had fun with it. I I don't like the Grammys like I used to. I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to watch it live. I'll watch the YouTube videos afterwards. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope my fast talking didn't annoy you. I hope you're subscribing. I hope you're sharing. And I hope you're having the best day ever. Thanks again. See ya.